Why does your partner flirt in front of you? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to dive into a topic that I think many of us have experienced when someone openly and obviously flirts with another person right in front of you. It can be an awkward or even hurtful situation when you witness someone you're interested in flirting with someone else. You may wonder why they're doing it so openly instead of being more discreet. I want to analyze some of the possible motivations people have for flirting in front of others. There are actually several psychological and social reasons why people engage in this behavior. My goal is to provide some insight so it doesn't catch you totally off guard next time it happens. Reason 1. Insecurity. One possibility is that the flirter feels some insecurity within themselves. So they flirt with others seeking validation, attention, and to boost their ego. They may crave the feeling of being desired by others. By openly flirting right in front of you, they can gauge your reaction to analyze their own desirability. People with insecurities may also want to incite jealousy in their partner or love interest. They think making you aware of their ability to attract others will somehow make you value them more. It can be a misguided strategy to get you to lock them down and prove their worth. Reason 2. Immaturity. In some cases, open flirting in front of others is simply an immature behavior. The flirter may not have a high degree of social awareness or empathy. They don't pick up on social cues very well. Immature flirters are oblivious to how their actions may be perceived as disrespectful or hurtful. Immaturity can also make someone crave attention and drama. Flirting openly gets a reaction from others, satisfying their need for attention. It stirs things up, whether positive or negative. They feed off the drama of it. Reason 3. Thrill-seeking. For some personality types, openly flirting feeds their appetite for excitement and thrill-seeking behaviors. The risk of flirting in front of you gives them an adrenaline rush. Thrill-seekers get bored easily, so openly flirting spices things up and brings spontaneity into their interactions. The possibility of drama ensuing intrigues them and pulls them into the action of the moment. Reason 4. Lack of investment in the relationship. In some cases, someone who openly flirts simply isn't that invested in the relationship with you to begin with. If they were committed and cared deeply, they would be more aware and discreet out of respect. Lack of investment also makes it easier for them to cross boundaries into flirtatious territory with others. They aren't thinking long-term, so there's less at stake. Reason 5. Communication Tool Believe it or not, sometimes flirting can be used as a communication tool, but one that requires high social awareness to be effective. In the right context, some types may openly flirt to non-verbally communicate interest, availability, or attraction. Used strategically, flirting can help signal romantic compatibility before verbally escalating intimacy and reduce risk of rejection. It also provides plausible deniability if the attraction isn't reciprocated. Of course, this only works if both parties read the non-verbal cues accurately. Subtlety and reciprocity are key. Done wrong, it can totally backfire. Reason 6. Self-esteem boost. For some personality types, the act of flirting itself provides a boost to their self-esteem and confidence, even if there is no intention behind it. They just enjoy feeling admired or desired. It can be a way for insecure individuals to validate themselves socially. It makes them feel attractive, captivating, and charming when they can hold someone's attention through flirtatious banter, even if only for a brief moment. This thrill-seeking motivation means they are less concerned about how the flirting impacts you or the relationship. The act itself and the rush it provides is their main motivator. Reason 7. Leveraging competition. If someone wants to make you jealous, sometimes they will openly flirt 
to leverage human nature's competitive streak for their own purposes. Creating a scenario where others seem interested or attracted to them can evoke a competitive reaction in their partner. Some personality types buy into the idea that inducing competition will make you fight for them to win their affections. They hope making you jealous will intensify your pursuit of them. Reason 8. Projecting availability. Individuals who flirt openly could also be projecting availability to potential new romantic prospects, whether they intend to pursue someone new or not. Openly flirting sends the signal that they are interested, willing, and ready. For those dissatisfied in their current relationship, flirting can be a way to test the waters. They want to assess their romantic prospects before making a decision to leave. Of course, this type of flirting is hugely risky and typically backfires, but it does still happen as a misguided way of passively prospecting what else might be out there. Reason 9. Habitual behavior. For some chronic flirters, openly flirting with anyone, anytime simply becomes a force of habit. They have always interacted this way with people so they continuing flirting out of habit even once in a relationship. For habitual flirters, their flirtatiousness has likely gotten positive reinforcement throughout life. They don't necessarily have all intentions behind it, but when taken to extremes, it can certainly cause problems in relationships. Reason 10. It's strategic slash manipulative, though definitely on the unhealthier end of the spectrum. Some calculated individuals use flirting as a way to purposely manipulate others. They flirt as a power play, purposefully trying to get reactions out of people. Whether their goal is making a partner jealous, stringing someone along as a backup option, or causing drama out of boredom, their flirting stems from ulterior motives. This type of flirting is often part of a bigger pattern of harmful, controlling behaviors. At its core, it signals that the person views relationship as games to win rather than caring human connections. Big red flag, how to respond productively. Okay, so now that we've gone through some of the psychological explanations for flirting in front of you, let's discuss how to process this behavior in a healthy way if you encounter it. Here are some tips. First, tune into your own emotions. Are you feeling hurt, angry, insecure, or competitive? Sit with whatever emotions arise and identify them before reacting. Next, reflect on the context. Do they seem unaware or is the flirting targeted and intentional? Factor intention in before responding. Consider if it's part of a pattern. Is this something they've done repeatedly or is it a one-off scenario? Chronic behaviors signal deeper issues to address. Set boundaries if needed. You can politely but firmly state that overt flirting makes you uncomfortable and ask that it stop. Enforce your boundaries. Communicate feelings. Have an honest chat about how the flirting impacted you and hear their perspective. Seek understanding. Assess if values align. Big picture, do their flirting align with your values on fidelity, respect, and emotional maturity. Allow space for growth. If stemming from insecurity, immaturity, etc. Can they grow? But don't stay with manipulation. Reflect on your role. Are there ways you may have contributed to insecurity or lack of fulfillment in the relationship? Self-reflect. Consider counseling. If you want to salvage things, Counseling can help build self-awareness, communication skills, and empathy. Make a decision. Ultimately, you have to determine if the person and relationship are right for you. Trust your intuition. Have patience. If they are sincere in efforts to gain awareness and change behavior, be patient. Change takes time. The key is responding in a way that is understanding, but also preserves your self-worth. Have an open conversation before deciding to end things. Flirting could signal deeper issues to address, but repeated harmful patterns or manipulation should be deal breakers. Value yourself enough to walk away from games. 
Well, that covers my thoughts on motives behind flirting in front of you and how to thoughtfully respond. But I want to turn it over to you now. Have you experienced this before? Do you have any other insights into why people engage in this behavior? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Outro. All right, everyone. That's all I have for this video on flirting and the psychological motives behind it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.